okay, what's up? I mean, I think you nailed it on the head, Steven. Yeah, you. Th I think all this... Uh... Am I low? Is my volume low? Um, you're okay. I mean, you nailed it on the head. Like, mainstream schooling really takes you away from God. Like, you nailed it. Thanks. Yeah. If we just had more God in our it, lives, everything would be better. Was it, was it unfair how I reworded that? Or did you mean that? Um, I think life in general has probably taken us from religious background. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Steven, you know what I realized? This is difference from you and me. Like the biggest difference is that you're convinced humans have never been smarter. Um, I mean, as a society, yeah, individually, I don't know if I, like, intelligence is just. Whoa, whoa! On. You mean the, you mean the other way around, right? Well, no, I mean like we have a lot of information we collectively pass on from generation to generation, but it's not like I don't know if individual humans are smarter than they ever have been. What do you mean as, as a society they're smarter? Like, as in so socially, we have a lot of information that's been... Like, people couldn't build processors, you know, 100 years ago. But, like, the average human probably couldn't put together a light bulb today. So socially, we pass on... But it, they couldn't build them because they were dumber, or they just didn't have the technology yet? Well, they didn't have the technology because they haven't passed on all of that information. Well, I mean, th think of one from the 1700s if they just, you know, came through a time machine today and they applied themselves and learned the technology today, they'd be way smarter than you and me. Way smarter? No, I don't think so. I mean, like if he, if, if someone from the 1700s applied themselves and learned the computer. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. You know who does think so? I though? can't imagine him being, he wouldn't be as distracted as you and me with video games and all the stuff we grew up with. They'd probably be even right? more distracted. What do you mean? I'm sure they'd see that shit and they'd fucking go crazy. Screens no, no, with information in, and shit on them? No, if they're 35 years old, then the programming's too late. They're not going to be addicted to gaming. They're 35 off a time machine. Hmm. Okay. You're Jesuit trained, right, Steven? Yeah, took orders from the Black Pope himself, you know? Yeah, stop. What do you mean Jesuit trade? You went to Catholic school. That's what you mean. Um, yes. A Jesuit high school. It was called Jesuit? <clears throat> it, it, was, it, was, it was Jesuits. Yes. <laughs> they were the teachers. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Stephen, can I interest you in something? Sure. Oh, I built a big ass train for just for material packages because Jesus. What's up? Have you ever read the Jesuit oath? No, tell me about Did it. Did you take this oath when you went through that school? What is it? Read it. I don't think so. Here, read it to us. I'll send you the link. I furthermore promise that I will, when opportunity presents, make and wage relentless war, secretly or openly, against all heretics, Protestants, and liberals, as I am directed to. Oh, yeah, we said this every single day in the morning, yeah. No, keep going. You can read it. My shit is lagging. I'm trying to focus on my factory. You can read it if you want, though. Go ahead that I will spare neither age, sex, or condition, and that I will hang, waste, boil, flay, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heretics, rip up their stomachs and wombs of their women, and crush their infants' heads against the walls in order to annihilate forever their... Wow. Okay, basically what I'm trying to say is if the Catholic or if the Vatican is run by Jesuits and the CIA is filled with Jesuits and they have to take this violent oath, mm -hmm. doesn't that kind of add to my conspiracy side, like that there's where there's smoke, there's fire, and I'm not crazy? Yes, this for sure sounds like a real oath that all Jesuits take, definitely. It's on Wiki, dude. It's not a conspiracy. Yeah. You believe in Wiki. You pull it up every day. Only when it agrees with me, remember? Mm -hmm. Ah, Steve. Zerk. You had a way to win this where it says in the quote to uh, destroy liberals. You could have yeah. turned it around on me. I don't know why you didn't do that. Because this is, my guess is this is probably a hyper-specific thing from a hyper-specific time period or something. If it's even... Define I don't even think... Actually, wait. I don't even think this came from Wikipedia. Your source, it says the well, source I mean, on the bottom, uncontrolledopposition.com. Find us on Facebook. Well, no, go on Wikipedia. You don't have to use Google's first result. I wouldn't lie to you, Steve. Just link the wiki then. 
what, what would it change? Like, you're just going to be like, it's a conspiracy. Well, I mean, it is, but it'd be interesting to see it, no? It's not a conspiracy that violent people are at the top. Look at militaries. Oh, okay. Well, the Black Pope. I'm so glad you're 32 years old, and the first time you learned about the Black Pope was through Zerka. Like, no. that's... That's rich. You went to Jesuit school, and I taught you that. Pretty wild. Mm. Here's a fun game. Mm -hmm. Define liberalism, but not in the conventional sense. Like the destiny, DGG, like, you're, through your lens. Liberalism is just generally being concerned with, like, um, like freedom of speech, freedom of expression, expression, right to own private property, you know, right to form your own businesses. Like, broadly speaking, that's like what liberalism is. Like our kind of like First Amendment Bill of Rights shit, basically. No, no, in one sentence. One, just give me one, the biggest quality. Probably. I would say that liberalism, broadly speaking, is a right for an individual to pursue what they personally think makes them happy, unobstructed by the government. No. Broadly speaking, probably. You mean unobstructed by the government or their neighbor? Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, you said one sentence, so. Okay. <laughs> How about this? Can you have God as a liberal, Steve? Probably, yeah. Really? Really? Well, no, I don't know. Now that you said really <laughs> like that, I'm not sure. <laughs> don't, don't, do, this is what you do to Ethan Ralph. Don't do that to me. What do I do to Ethan Ralph? That's where you got the really from. I just copied him. you. Yeah, yeah, but you did it to him. That's how you used to bully him. You don't bully me like that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bullying you. Never apologize, not even sarcastically. Okay, I'm sorry for that. For apologizing. Are you going to keep the blue? Um, like Probably. Until my it. hair, until my roots come in enough, then I either have to think if I want to re-dye it, re-bleach it, or re-dye it, or just shave it. I'm not sure. You should stick to blue because, first of all, it's not like you look worse. And number two, it's like so on brand. Why are you lagging? Because I have no real fucking internet. I'm on some stupid fuck hotspot. Oh, you're at the beach. Yeah. Right. I'm waiting for my internet to come. You're waiting for, for Dan to fucking come. I like the blue. You look uh, like... Like, it, it makes your hair look thick in the center. I like it. Yeah. And it's not as noticeable when you're on Adderall anymore. Like, the greasiness isn't as much as it used to be. Uh-huh. You know I'm not on Adderall, right? I will never drop that conspiracy. Okay. Okay. There's no. Imagine someone walked up to you and said, Hey, I do meth sometimes. I do shrooms sometimes. I do this and that. All the fucking drugs. But not the debate drug. There's a difference between doing a drug recreationally for fun versus doing one consistently every single day for performance enhancement. I don't think I would ever do that. I don't even smoke weed that much. That would scare me. Imagine all these years and I'm wrong. You're like sober on stream. Imagine imagine if I was wrong about this. That, that would mean I'm wrong about everything, like all my hunches. I literally tried Adderall for like the first time when I was in Georgia, like a few... Um... Uh, like a month ago. Holy lie, you're exposed. Okay. We had a stream where you said you tried it years ago. Yeah, I did, but whatever it was, it was some <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You cannot. You have to say you were lying. You cannot do this. I me. wasn't. My friend had a prescription for Ritalin a long time ago, and I tried that, but I never tried like the little Adderall XR things or XL things. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I think you did say Ritalin last time. I'll have to check my logs. Good luck. What about weed? Do you smoke weed? So, like every now and then. Did you bang Lauren Southern? Um, I had a threesome with her and your mom, actually, yes. <laughs> you would have loved it. I bet you were thinking of Lauren when you met with her IRL. With your mom? You were... No, you were, like, fantasizing about her, right? No, what the fuck? Oh, come on. You never had one romantic thought about Lauren Southern? Uh, well, romantic, that's different. I had a huge romantic thought, but never sexual. That's how I think about all women when I meet them, you know? 
That was honest. Yeah. So you've had dark thoughts of piping a running girl. Uh, you said romantic, not sexual, okay. I changed it. You've had sexual thoughts. Never. I don't have sexual thoughts of any woman unless I consent to those sexual thoughts. I ask them for permission. I say, can I think sexually about you? And if they don't respond, then I, I would never dream of it. Is it true you have a spreadsheet of people you're social with, guys and girls? Um, and, and you check check in to see who you're giving the most attention to and evenly spread it out? Yeah, all the time. I don't want people to think too highly of themselves, you know? Wait, where are you at? Oh, you're, aren't you supposed to be packing your shit? Yeah, I'm already packed up. I mean, just New Year's and I'm gone. How long are you going to be in Austin for? I think a month and a half, and then Miami. Why did you lie about, um, why'd you lie about coming to Miami? You're not coming to Miami. You're still on that? I, I didn't, You're still I did on not it? lie. I did not lie. My Miami rent would have been 2,500 for an apartment, but these guys offered me a thousand for like 10 bedrooms, like a giant house with swimming pool. So I'm like, I might as well see this first. Uh huh. Like a thousand is the cheapest rent I've ever had in my life for the most. I got a fire pit, a hot tub. Austin is such a shithole, it's so cheap. Well, it's just there's just a lot of land. It's depressing. Like you've been there. It's really depressing. <laughs> Jesus, so mean. You don't think so? Um, it's just a different place. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, dude. <laughs> Hey, congrats on 600. You're going to crack it before the new year. Maybe. I have no content now for three days. Yeah, but you do it to yourself. Like, you always have content. You just get bored. Wait, I do what for content? I'm saying you have content. You just choose to chill out sometimes. Have to, one, not having real internet is driving me crazy. Even now, we're lagging like hell through this conversation, which is fucking annoying. Andrew's beefing with Greta right now on Twitter. Oh, yeah, it's cringe as fuck. For which side? <laughs> um, I think on Both. the Tate side. She's like 19, right? Yeah. Some people say she's a man. You buy that? No. Just, there's like... Swedish people, by default, they all just look like they have fetal alcohol syndrome. I don't know why. So people probably see it. <laughs> what the fuck? They do. Swedish people, normal Swedish Yo, people look like the... that. They do. They absolutely do. I... Dude, that I thought I was the only one who said that. Holy shit. No, they they eat like 99% of them do. People are like, oh, Swedish supermodel, blah, blah, blah. That's why I like Mel, because she looks American. But like her, I don't want to shit talk anybody. But like they're like 99% of the time I see, a sweet, I see a Swedish girl, they look like they have fetal alcohol syndrome. That's just their faces. I don't know why. They just do. And that Neanderthal DNA. Yeah, is that it? This is I a tier five sub, know. okay? Treat them well. What does tier five mean? They get rainbow names in chat, and they're the biggest ballers. How much are they paying? 80 a month. Oh, bless you. Bless so you. Welcome, Sativa, uh, welcome. What Sativa, up, Sativa pipe? <laughs> nah, man. Smoke a lot? Uh, usually I'm, it's like mainly edibles. Damn. And how's your productivity when you're doing edibles? Uh, I feel like it enhances like, um, how I like maybe play some games. Oh, so playing games on edibles. So not productive at all. That's what you meant to say. But I'm productive in my gameplay. Are you playing Factorio? No. Cringe. All right, well, what do you want? You're on. You made it. You're here. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying what's up, man. I don't have anything to say. I'm nervous. Nothing don't be all. nervous. Use this. Get value out of Steve. Um, fuck, oh, man. Maybe not today. Maybe another day. All right. Later, guys. Okay, I love you, buddy. Hope it's on me. No, you actually said something so retarded. She looks American. Mel's face compared to other Swedish women, she looks very American. Yeah, for sure. 
I don't know how to, if I could even compare to her sisters, there's like a certain, I don't know what it is, but there's like a certain facial feature that like Swedish people have where it's like, that's a Swedish girl. Link me some Swedish, <laughs> link me Swedish girls and I can point it out. I don't know what it is, but Greta is like, she is like, this is a Swedish girl. She just has this look. Bro, does anybody have, um, does anybody have any streams of Mel's friend, um, Linnea? Like she looks, this, like it's like, there's like a Swedish look to their face. What does American even mean? I don't know, probably not American, but she just has like a, like a more, like more of like a rounded type face that doesn't look. Yeah. You have seen like saying, 10 like... Swedes? What the fuck are you talking yeah. about, you fucking retard? I stayed in Stockholm for like two months with Molina and I've been to Sweden like five fucking times. What do you mean you've seen like 10 Swedes? Where the fuck are you from? Insane? No, Steve, Steven's right. When the Americans are pretty, they look much better than the Swedes. No, chill. I didn't mean that. I'm just saying that Swedish people have like a certain type of face. Bro, you called her a fucking fetal alcohol okay, well, syndrome. Okay, I didn't say fetal alcohol syndrome looks bad, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just, okay, that was a mean way to describe it. You're right. And it was weird that you kept going back to Mel's sister. That's really offensive. Okay, I don't know if all of these girls are, are Swedish, but like this one in the middle, she's got it. She's got that Swedish look. Left and the right one, not as much, but this one in the middle, she's got it. Like American chicks are for the most part ugly, but when they're hot, they don't fuck around. Like they go really, really hot. <clears throat> I see what you mean, dude. Like there's this, at what point is this going to get racist? Can I just go off? It's not racist, chill. Right, because they're white people. I forgot. Exactly. Yeah, there's something There's something hollow about these people. It's not like that hollow. movie. Uh, it's, it's like that movie where they they air. What's that movie? The, the, Midsommar. That's who they remind me of. Is that the right movie? Yeah, that is a movie. Now, the most attractive people on earth are in Colombia. In my opinion, it's Colombia for, for, if we're talking about like for quantity, where everywhere you look, they're all tasty. I think it's Colombia. Guess the nationality. Holy shit, what is this AIDS website? Oh, there's not like a multiple choice or whatever? That's yes, it. <laughs> In Europe, they're not that attractive. Like I've traveled all of Europe, but Spain has good ones. Barcelona has cute people. Unless you're looking for that hooker look, then you have to be in the U.S. That guy earlier that said I'd only seen ten Swedish people apparently lives in one of those countries, but not really. I don't trust you. I bet you haven't seen any Swedish people, motherfucker. Yeah. Or what? You turning it off? Yeah, because my shit's been lagging for like the past like 30 minutes getting done. Maybe I'll come back later tonight. All right. Okay. All right, peace, peace. Be careful, babe.